The Cause of Prayerlessness in the Life of Christian Part 2 How many times does a believer pray a day? The Muslim pray five times a day all their lives as a lifestyle. The Jews pray three times a day all their life as a lifestyle. They do it whether they are happy or not, whether they are under attack or not, whether they are blessed or not, whether they are sad or happy, they just do it because it's a lifestyle for total takeover of the earth forces and its foundation. But as a Christian and all we do is to pray for one or two times and we thought we have made it no. You ought to take prayer as a lifestyle and continuously abiding under it as your daily responsibility. Always praying in the morning and afternoon. Praying in the evening, praying in the night and also praying at midnight. You must follow the four seasons and the four watches of the day, and the four watches of the night and praying consistently. Praying must become your daily lifestyle, so you pray whether you feel like praying or not. You pray when you are broke. You pray when you are blessed. And you pray when you are down. You also pray when you are up because prayer is a necessity for survival and for the maintenance of daily victory for the believer. In fact, if you stop praying you start sinning and if you start sinning you stop praying the barrier that hinder the prayer of Christian. 1. Late sleeping, the first cause and reason why some Christians don't pray fervently is due to late night sleeping. Some have the gift of looking at the television from morning till night every day. In this our new age of cable television network, some will look at cable and the cable will turn and begin to look at them. They will suddenly doze off snoring in prayer Father Lord, e, thank you for r, in Jesus name Amen and they will bundle themselves upon their bed. No wonder in the night you will have nightmares. They will pursue you, skeleton and mad dog pursuing you and you come to the pastor for deliverance. Which deliverance? You ought to deliver yourself first from that demon, that influence of making television and video films the gods of your life. What is God? This is anything that takes the place of sit of God in your life and it becomes your gods or your idol. When the time of God is giving to television and video films, it categorically takes the time of God in your life. Moreover, a prayer warrior is away awake while others are asleep. Sometimes, in the night the Lord will come and invisible hands will touch you and a burden will propel through your spirit. The Lord will minister to you there is a battle somewhere and instantly you will begin to pray. Nevertheless, in some scenarios when you want to pray, two voices may speak to you. One will minister to you, remember you are traveling tomorrow, if you pray now driver will carry you across your destination another voice may tell you sleep, look all your eyes are inside your skull, if you pray now would anybody marry you? My beloved, this thing can discourage you and cause you to disobey God. God says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider, with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. Jeremiah 51:20-22. Sometimes, the Lord might wake you up and gives you a burden to pray for a brother in need. A brother surrendered by an assassin. Late sleeping at night is a very dangerous tool used to attack the prayer life of many Christian. Sometimes God may send what I called an anointed mosquito in a special sense to wake you up. The mosquito will comes to your ear and begin to buzz around with a commanding tune wake ye up and pray, wake ye up and pray aai, wake up and pray and then you try to kill it no, you can't kill it. It was sent to wake you up so that you can do your function as a Christian. You are a watchman to the nation. Yes, God want you to pray. He says so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me Ezekiel 33 7. Many years ago a man was employed as a watchman but one day he called his master and said, He, master, please don't move out tomorrow, last night I have a terrible dream and revelation where assassin came upon you. Please don't go out or else they will kill you though afterward he was sacked, why did his master sack him? Here was a man who was supposed to watch but he left his duty post and slept off. 
and before you sleep to the level that you will dream, which means it was a serious sleep. So that man wasn't qualified to be a watchman. My point is this many Christians have slept off in their duty post and now the devil is working overtime. The barrier of sin, another cause of prayerlessness in the life of Christian is sinfulness. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination Proverb 28 colon 9. If you are going to prayer house be careful because native doctor are no more living in thatches houses in the village. They are now living in prayer houses. They are no longer operating their devilish enterprise in thatch house in the village. They are operating in form of prayer houses. They will see vision and divination, hum, hum, as I was praying I saw a rat pursuing a lion, come and fast for seven days and if you can't fast pay us so that we can fast on your behalf and let us know why a rat was pursuing a lion that was a psychology of retaining you. I mean, why should you beguiled by such deceptive act? Psalm 66 18 If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me the Bible said, if I behold iniquity in my heart the Lord will not hear me. Even if I fast for twenty years the Lord will not hear me. If I refuse to repent my prayer become nonsense. My beloved, there are things you don't understand. How can a woman who is a prostitute open a prayer house with children all over the place yet no husband? Yet people are trooping to her home to see vision and to receive one thing or the other. How can you be operating and living in sinfulness and still calling upon God? Actually you can't pray because your prayer zeal will be thwarted. Moreover, if you start sinning you stop praying because the passion and reviving zeal of praying will left and be replaced with guiltiness and self-condemnation. Faithlessness, overeating, and oversleeping, Another barrier to prayer is faithlessness, overeating, and oversleeping. There are some Christians who are food and sleep bulldozers. When they begin to sleep if you carry them outside they will continue snoring. When you wake them up to eat, they can mistakenly put their food in the watching water because of sleep. Imagine someone kneeing down to pray and still sleeping. It's an insult to God to sleep on your knee while praying. It's a serious offense to sleep on your knee while praying to God. Imagine you looking for an audience with the president of your country and after passing through all security clearance and protocols and you were granted an audience with your president and you said, thank you Mr. President for granting me this audience, what I have come to disc uses is you will you will you and you begin to sleep. You did better be imprisoned for wasting his excellence time. Hence, the presidential general of the whole world has given us a prayer privilege. Instead of intercessor tears around you we have sleep bulldozer saliva. Some people has computerized their legs, when they are sleeping during church fellowship they will still making movement and the ushers will be confused. For another barrier to payers is malice. There is no way you can have something against someone and you come to pray. Likewise also wandering thoughts, Sometimes when you knee down to pray one voice will tell you, remember this appointment, you didn't cover your pot of soup etc. The devil has purposely done this so that you can hurry over the prayer. 5. A talker active, another barrier is talker active. A talker active cannot be a prayer warrior. There is no way you can talk too much and pray. When you talk too much all things you have said will come and build a cloud above and you can't operate in prayers. Lack of burden. When you don't have a burden how can you pray? Whenever God want to use you he will first gives you a burden but inasmuch the burden has already been imposed upon you to intercede on other in prayers, but do lack of commitment and carelessness you forbid to take hold and retain your prayer mantle. Let me challenge you, all things are possible to him who can pray. John 14,13-14 And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it Jesus said you don't have because you haven't asked even up till now you haven't asked asked and you shall received, knocked, and it shall be opened, seek and you shall find all things are possible to him who can pray. It doesn't matter if you went to school or not but with prayer God can still make something out of you. Matthew 7 colon 7 8 ask, and it shall be given you, seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you for every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, 
and to him that knocketh it shall be opened to neglect this private prayer is a locust which will devour the strength of the church. Biblical men and women who pray and behold God. Let emphasize about biblical men and women who prayed and saw God. 1. Abraham, Genesis 19:27 and Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord Abraham has a prayer burden. The Bible said he will always stand on that place where he always meets with the Lord. God didn't hide his plans from him because he was a prayerful man. When we begin to have watchmen on our cities, nations, and churches honestly God will begin to reveal secrets unto us. But unfortunately today, we are too busy to pray and when we are too busy to pray God will be too busy to manifest. Whenever we become too busy to give God time the glory will not manifest. Moses, look at Moses, his prayers brought victory against the Amaleki. Exodus 17 colon 9 And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out, fight with Amalek, tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in mine hand Moses was a man of prayers. He stood and God answered his prayer. He fasted until the glory of God reflected on him. 3 Elijah, what about Elijah who lucked up heaven for 31 halves year and there was no rainfall? He pockets the key and put it into his pocket and opened it at self-will. He was a man of like passion. Nevertheless, I think there is something that God want to make out of you. Moreover you can do better than you are presently doing. But the problem is this, please get back to God. He is seeking for a watchman. He wants to pour his special anointing upon you today. My dearest prayer is that after reading this message, the anointing of prayer will descend upon you and you will begin to pray as you haven't prayed before. Probably, you have a prayer covenant with God. You used to wake up in certain day in the night to pray. Some certain day in the week you make a covenant to always fast but right now, materialism, pursuits and vain glory has broken your praying and fasting covenant with God. Just look at you, the other day you slept without prayer. Right now, some unusual things have begun to happen in your life because you have broken your prayer covenant. And before God do you know your name? You are a covenant breaker and at this moment unusual things has begun to happen in your life and it will continue to happen because you failed to keep your prayer covenant. What can we say about Nehemiah who refused to be sidetracked and Esther who took a risk? She said go, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night, or day, I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish, Esther 4.16. David said when I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, Psalm 63.6, which mean he was a man of prayer. Daniel prays three times, he was an administrator. He was state man at the corridor of power yet he prayed three times a day. He disciplines himself. Daniel 6.10 Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being open in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day, and prayed, and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime moreover, when you are too busy to pray God will be too busy to manifest. Men who worked before us were prayer warriors. John Charles Wesley was praying four hours every day. Look at Susanna Wesley, John Wesley mother, she has 19 children yet she creates time to spend with Jesus every day. What can I say about Apostle Ao Babalola who knee down to pray and his knee pierced a rock? He can stood to pray for three days without sitting down. Oh where are we brethren? I can hear the Holy Ghost saying wanted wanted wanted, a praying people and I sought for a man among them, that should make up the hedge, and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none, Ezekiel 22 30. Have you lost your prayer life? Has the devil taken over your prayer life? Are you now been messed up? Moreover, you knew there is now a vacuum in your heart. Yes, you shout and sing but you sincerely knew there is a vacuum in your spirit. You don't have much time to pray again. You are too busy to pray and seek God. Please get back to your post, do you know why the glory has departed? 
before God was using you, power and anointing was upon your life. The Holy Ghost wants me to ask you now where are your yesterday when you were on your glory, when power was upon your life? Where is your yesterday when you preached and the glory came down? Are you trying to cover it up or managed my beloved, it all fell the day your prayer life was taken away by the devil. However, God is still saying wanted wanted wanted, I want to do something in this generation. I want to release my power, am releasing a last way of revival but somebody must usher in the revival yes, you can be the man. Even now God can still use you. I need you to lift up your hand to heaven and pray this prayer of reconciliation. Prayer of Reconciliation unto God The Spirit of the Living God come afresh upon me, the Bible said and I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the Spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn, Zechariah 12:10. The spirit of supplication of the living God comes afresh upon me. Let the anointing of prayer come afresh upon me in Jesus' name. Let us begin to repent from our prayerlessness and ask the Lord to send unto us the spirit of prayer and intercession that will enable us to begin to pray and seek God as never before. Only by enacting this spiritual exercise can pave way for revival in our church. You must fill that gap in your church, family, and everywhere. The Lord is calling you get back to your duty post. You must no give the devil any chance because it is 5 minutes to 12. Father Lord, I appreciate you for this warning message unto the church because we have broken our prayer covenant. Even some of us are beginning to sleep on our knee. We have abandoned our duty and assignment. Father Lord, we pray for your forgiveness. Please renew us O Lord with your power, and let the strength of prayer and anointing come afresh upon the church. The Holy Ghost come and quickens us and let the fire of prayer to begin to burn in our heart in Jesus' name.